the menace. Menace of sobriety. That's what happened to me that moment in hospital, right? I let go of the anxiety. You know, anxiety will last mm. for a period of time. You had a moment of clarity. I was saying the anxiety of letting go of that fear, anxiety will last this long. It won't get, it, it won't kill you, and it will get to that height, and then it will go away. But it, it's how long you can stay there. But it won't go any higher than the worst anxiety like yeah. this moment. So I'd got to that peak of anxiety in that particular episode, let's say. Yeah. And it just went. And I was sitting in the hospital, and it went, Poof! it felt like my brain had dropped. And I went, Poof! and it was like I'd let go of the biggest stress in my life. And I went, oh. I took a deep breath and I went, God, I can do this. Wow. And, I, and, and, and that's what spurred me to, to then find my doctor, um, go to the detox, blah, blah, blah. Not before I'd had the biggest session of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, people say that you have that one last one, I did, didn't I, you? Yeah, and I didn't had no intention, but I was. And, and he said to me when I went to find him and I saw him, and he said he was in Harley Street, and he's quoted in my book, and he's a specialist in you know cocaine and stuff like that. I've never met a man take as much cocaine and still stand up. Wow, that's my doctor saying that, right? So it, it was quite bad. Anyway, so um, he said to me, "Come and see me." He said, I can save your life on if you come in here like ASAP. He said, I don't know how long you'll last if you go out again. And I went, okay, I'll be in Monday morning. And he went, right, it was Thursday. <coughs> oh, so you've done a Thursday <laughs> fight. Did you sleep till you saw him? I So actually, no, I didn't go as hell-bent as I thought because I thought, okay, I've done, I can only max out so much. I've done, I know this thing inside out now. But then Sunday came and it was like, probably subconsciously thinking, I'm in tomorrow. Mm. That is, and that's me done. I didn't have any, I was thinking I'm in and that's my well, yeah. life changing. So I, I, that was my decision at the time. I think that's my thought process as well. I had no, mm. so I went and I was DJing at the Ministry of Sound that night, can you believe? So I, I drove there, I drove on my own, mm. oblivious. I don't know what was going on. I was so, it, not only, it was just, it, it, my, my brain was fried, yeah, it was like yeah. Tron. Yeah, yeah. It was like electric man. It was ridiculous. Anyway, so I drove I, 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 the more than I've ever done in my life in that one night. I, I can't even remember the amount. It was just it was constant all night. And, and, and I went back to the local estate where my pals used to live, and I was backwards and forwards to my house in the estate six times that night to pick up. It was like get I'm, as much as you can. You know, yeah, get in, go and have some of them. Take some home. Go back there. Take some home. Come and by the time it was like nine o'clock in the morning, I, it was like it was, it was. I can't even describe it. It was. Horrendous. Fucking hell. Anyway, I went back one more time and they'd gone to bed. It was like, no, what's going to happen now? Anyway, so I've turned up at the hospital. I went. I off went your fucking nut. Off my nut. I went. Oh, mate. And I was, I walked straight in and, and they said, right, turn your pockets out. And I, I took, I had all those jazzy pans, all the downers and benzos and everything. And they said, I said well, you, you can't take them away. Oh, yes, we've got to take everything away, mate. It's not like. Because you, you didn't know about anything then. Just said, oh, really? So everything went. And then then from then it's like you're... And I was reading something yesterday about... And it, 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 I learned this a long time ago, but I read again yesterday I, uh, something about... When you're in the grips of like that behaviours, because you're not thinking about anything else, you don't learn, you don't mature mm. emotionally. Mm. All you're thinking about is drug, getting it, using it, exactly. coming so off it. All that stuff, the whole, yeah. the whole life. So you don't think about... Life, yeah, well, in normality as we as we know it, let's say. So, you're not learning things, you're not reading stuff, you're just out there. You so. just live. You're not even living. You're just fucking Exist Groundhog Day. Existing, yeah, exactly. So, then the learning starts, and then like, so you, it, it, then the fear sets in. Then, the but you, because you're in in detox, you're like, you're like in cotton wool. It's like rehab. A shorter version of rehab, basically. So you're in, in, um, you know, you're taken care of. You're surrounded by people who are in the same journey, as you said. Like mm. you know, you experience that with your groups and stuff, yeah. which are invaluable, by yeah. the way. You need that stuff. We can't do it on our own. And I, you know, I say to anyone who's struggling, as, while I get it in here, make sure you reach out. Dapper will help you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to get up to me, we can sort that stuff out. But don't do it alone. And um, it was scary, and it got the work. And it, you know, then I ended up sitting in a room for three months like this. Mm. In the corner of a room, just getting over my my head because it was like mm. it was bombs going off. It was like cause stimulants for your psychology are the worst thing because it's like oh, yeah. like constant under a man out. All of a sudden the brakes are on. Yeah, and yeah. And then yeah, the yeah. Have you, do you know the secret? I've seen the secret. Yeah, I've I've seen that the book and the, the right. The so thing, yeah. you imagine this having sixty thousand thoughts a day, normally as a human who's who's not used 
loads mm. of drugs, right? To manage those thoughts and think about the ones that are fearful or yeah. stressing us, you have to have a system. So your body, so I know, for instance, I can look at that TV screen, there's nothing to be afraid of just yet, right? Yeah. Or the curtain. Yeah, yeah. Or the mic. So those things aren't going to bother me. But if, if I see a tiger sitting in the corner there, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 60,000 of them, all these things are, are, are little mm. passing thoughts that I know about. So think about that and never have actually had to experience those thoughts before. Because you've just been high or yeah. dampen them, yeah. Well, then all of a sudden. Yeah, well, that, I, I, the, the way that I can relate to that 100% is that because I've got ADHD, yeah. uh, I was told that the. Uh, by my counsellor that the drug the drug use was uh, it was a form of soothing it as well because they give like the stimulants to people with ADHD to calm it down it's weird they give like speed to to, to kids Ritalin and, and yeah Ritalin and all that and I found that with the cocaine that the, the come downs and stuff for me were the worst because it was like everything was coming back a million miles an hour but while I was using while I was drinking or, or on it or whatever my mind was calm um, but now I feel like once I got past you know, like I said to you outside, that I had a bit of a wobble this week, where I almost, almost cracked. But I, I saw the, saw the signs, saw the triggers. But that calm and that peace that you were talking about a minute ago, I've had um, a lot more often. Well, in this last 112 days or whatever, I have little moments to myself now. Like once I've done a few things and I'm sat down, and I'm like chilled. I'm like, there's no worry, there's no anxiety, there's no need for something. I just kind of feel a little bit like, oh, this is all right. Isn't that a great feeling? It's the best feeling in the world. Because, you, and what you've done there is, and the thing is, you've done it yourself. Mm. You've found your own peace. You've yeah. found, uh, and, and unfortunately, some, some people are, are a little bit too late when it comes to that. Mm. So this is why the, the net, but you you managed to, to sort that see that thing yeah. happening and go. Well, I, I I've definitely delved. Sorry, go on. No, go on. No, carry on. No, I just delved. We s spoke about it outside a lot, and I th and I think we agree on something, and maybe I have the same sort of philosophy on something. Is that is that the key to um, overcoming your addictions or um, negative behaviours or uh, negative thoughts and that is understanding your thinking, isn't it? Menace of sobriety.